Cobra Coaster Island. Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yes. Your destination is Cobra Coaster Island. I love Cobra Coasters. The way you go up, up, up. And then down, down, down. We, we mechanic fun. fun. Hmm. More like mechana no fun to me. Oh, you'll see, Komodo. Cobra Coasters are a blast. But there's a problem. For some mysterious reason, the super exciting Cobra Coaster is not working. That's awful! Yeah, why isn't it working? Unknown. Your mission is to find out why and get the Cobra Coaster working again. Mechana, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Coaster Island! Yeah! Let's go! Uh, Cobra Coaster! Fun, fun, fun! Hmm. I fail to understand what is so much fun about a Cobra Coaster. Komodo, don't you ever have fun? Oh no, I fail to understand the need to have fun. Komodo doesn't know what he's missing. Mm -hmm. Let's try to see why this coaster isn't working. It looks okay to me. Whoa! <laughs> What was that? Hmm, a mechana banana. Curious. Ah! Whoa! Look! Oh. On the cobra coaster. It's a mechana monkey. <laughs> Aw, he's kind of cute. He may be cute, but I think he's the reason the cobra coaster isn't working. Right. <laughs> the Cobra cars won't work until that mischievous monkey stops tossing mechana bananas at it. We need to catch him and get him off the tracks. Oh no, he's climbing higher. Uh, he's too high for me to reach. Me too. Who can reach way up there and grab the monkey? Uh, hmm. Wait a minute, I just had an idea. I can reach anything. Behold! The mighty Sasquatch! Smakana Stretchy! Come to Sasquatch, monkey! Catch him, Sasquatch! <laughs> He's getting away! Got to stretch some more! <laughs> I can do this! <laughs> oh, no! The monkey's way at the top of the coaster now! Even the mighty Sasquatch can't stretch that high! There's no way to reach him. Animal Mechanicals can do anything. Unicorn. Mechana fly. Fast 
little guy. I have some tricks of my own, Mr. Monkey. Go, Unicorn! Hey! Where'd he go? I see him. He's hiding. <laughs> we will never get him now. Never say never. If someone was small enough and speedy enough, they might be able to catch him. Small? Speedy? That's my job. Now! McKenna fast! By my calculations, it is impossible to catch that monkey. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Right. Because when the going gets tough, we, we team up. up. Time for a mechanic monkey trap. Mouse, keep chasing him. I'll make sure he stays down here. Sasquatch, you get ready. Sasquatch, readier than ready. where he will not get into any more trouble. Come on, little guy. Time to go home. Whoa! <laughs> Aww. He wants to have more fun on the Cobra Coaster. <laughs> but it is dangerous for a monkey to be on a Cobra Coaster. Not if he's riding the coaster with us! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Komodo. It'll be fun! I don't have fun, remember? Wow! <laughs> ah. Hey! Oh, let go of me, monkey! Oh, shoot! <laughs> I think he wants to ride with you, Komodo. <laughs> oh, very well then. One ride, and that's it. <laughs> Well, Komodo, did you like it? No, I didn't like it. I loved it! <laughs> that was fun! Mechanic, can we go again and again? Animal, Animal, mechanical, mechanical Yay! <laughs> Pop out Panda Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning. 
morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Ooh. Great. Yeah. Your destination is Pop Out Panda Island. Pop Out Pandas are cute. And shy. That's right. They're also very hungry. The pandas have eaten all of the bamboo at the bottom of Slip Slide Mountain. And now they need your help to get up the mountain where more bamboo grows. But why do they need our help? Because Slip Slide Mountain is very slippery. And with their big, boxy bodies, the pandas are very slidey. Slippery and slidey. <laughs> this is going to be fun! Your mission is to help the pandas up Slip Slide Mountain. But remember, they're very shy. You have to be quiet and gentle. Mechana, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Pop out Panda Island. Look, the pandas. They're trying to climb up the mountain all by themselves. That's okay, pandas. You tried really hard. Hmm, this isn't so bad. <laughs> Oh. On second thought, Slip Slide Mountain is definitely too slippery for those pandas to climb up on their own. Animal Mechanicals, we'll just have to give them a hand. A hand, huh? I've got two of them. Don't worry, pandas. The mighty Sasquatch will help you. Yeah! Sasquatch, remember what Island Owl said. Be quiet and gentle. Papa <laughs> pandas are extremely shy. <laughs> You might find this interesting. Pop-out pandas are extremely shy. Oh, no! The pandas are hiding and won't come out. Now we'll never be able to move them, even a little bit. Animal mechanicals never say never. Instead of walking them up the mountain, maybe we could push them up. Good thinking. <laughs> In my opinion, it will take a powerful pusher to get three pandas up that slick slope. A powerful pusher? I'm the animal mechanical for this job! Rex! Mechana strong! Panda 
is the top of Slip Slide Mountain. And here we are, too. We made it, everybody. Look, there's a new bamboo under the snow cap. Yahoo! Three cheers for Rex and Unicorn. Sasquatch. Hip, hip, Ooh. hooray! Um, the snow-capped mountain. Hip, hip, hooray! It would be wise to be... Hip, hip! Less loud! Ooh. Hooray? Hey, buddy. Next time you might want to be less loud. Uh. <gasps> The bamboo is buried. We need to remove the snow so that the pandas can eat the bamboo. I could do the digging, but we need a small shovel. My shovel is so big, it would ruin the bamboo. Hmm, a small shovel, huh? I think I know where we can find one of those. Hi -ya! Komodo! Makana Gizmo! Whoa! Whoops, <laughs> my undies. <laughs> One super sturdy small snow shovel to the rescue. Sasquatch, are you okay, buddy? First I scared the pandas. Then I buried the bamboo under the snow. I'm not so good at being quiet and gentle. It's okay, Sasquatch. You were only trying to help. You'll have your chance. Ta-da! There! Finished! Yay! Go on, pandas. Go get some bamboo. The pandas are still scared and shy. Can do to get them to eat? I know. The mighty Sasquatch has a quiet idea. Where is he going? Come on, little pandas. Nice bamboo. Here you go. The mighty, quiet Sasquatch to the rescue. It's kind of fun being quiet and gentle. <laughs> I mean, ow. <laughs> well, we got the pandas up Slip Slide Mountain. And they're eating again. <laughs> Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Does that mean it would be okay to do something loud? Hmm, the pandas do seem happy and full. I think it would be okay to be loud again. What did you have in mind, Sasquatch? All right! Whoa! Whoa! Time for some loud, slippery, sliding fun! Wahoo! Mechanic, can we have some loud, slippery, sliding fun too? We animal mechanical can! McKenna Cuckoo Clock Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yes. Your destination is McKenna Cuckoo Clock Island. That sounds fun. It is fun. But unfortunately, the big cuckoo clock there has mysteriously stopped telling time. Poor cuckoo clock. Because the clock has stopped, everything on the island has stopped too. 
Not good. Your mission is to get the cuckoo clock to tick tock again. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Cuckoo Clock Island! Hmm. It's just like the island owl said. Everything on the island has stopped moving. Over there! It's the Cuckoo Clock! I see it! There's the big hand and the little hand. Don't you just love clocks with all those numbers, Rex? Numbers? Uh, yeah, sure. Numbers are fun. Hey! Some of the numbers are missing. That has to be why the clock isn't working. I don't think so, Mouse. I am sure that missing numbers are not the reason the cuckoo has stopped working. No? No. You must be right, Komodo. You know so many things. That I do. For instance, I know that a mechanic cuckoo clock has a mechanic cuckoo bird inside its belly. Do you mean there's a bird in there? No way! Sasquatch! Wait, mechanic cuckoos have very sensitive stomachs. Woohoo! <laughs> Little cuckoo bird. Hello! Oh no, the mechanidors. Sasquatch, duck! Duck? I thought you said it was a bird, not a duck. <laughs> it's the cuckoo bird. It's trying to open the doors. <laughs> Maybe it wants to tell us how to fix the clock. <laughs> nope. Those doors are stuck shut. It's okay, Cuckoo Bird. We'll get the doors open for you. Looks like we need some kind of tool to pry the doors apart. A tool? That sounds like a job for... Komodo! Makata Gizmo! Whoa. Straight and sturdy McKenna screwdriver to the rescue! Handy dandy tool time! You know, next time, you might want a duck. Right. We'll never get the cuckoo clock to work if its cuckoo bird flies away. We have to catch it. But the bird's so high in the sky. How would we catch up to it? Flying high in the sky is my kind of job. Unicorn! McKenna, fly! Tree? Did you leave me here on purpose? Cuckoo! <gasps> I get it! You're trying to tell me that we need to pick the numbers from the tree and put them back on the clock, aren't you? Cuckoo! Come on! Let's go tell the others! <sighs> What's the matter, Rex? Okay, I'll admit it. I don't like this mission very much because... Uh... I'm not very good with numbers. That's okay. You're really good at other things. You're the best lifter and digger. I know, but I've had lots of practice doing that stuff. Hmm. Then maybe you just need a little practice with numbers. Look! Unicorn is back! I think the cuckoo bird wants us to replace the missing numbers on the clock. Cuckoo! That was my idea, too! Hmm. I'm sure that replacing numbers won't fix the problem. 
Well, I think it's worth a try. But how would we even figure out what numbers we need? I know. Clocks have 12 numbers. We just need to count from 1 to 12, and then we'll know what numbers are missing. And get some good practice, too. I'll start counting. One, two, three, four. Four is there, and after four comes... Um, five. Five comes after four. Cuckoo. Hey, wait, the five isn't there. No number five, but number six is all set. And seven. Come on, Rex. What's after seven? Um, eight, right? Eight. Then comes nine. <gasps> but look, the nine is missing too. Yup, but I see the ten. Eleven is okay, and so is the... Twelve! Animal Mechanicals, this clock is missing numbers five and nine. Mechanic, can we replace them? We Animal Mechanical can! Come on, Cuckoo Bird. Let's grab those numbers and fix that clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Five. I am still doubtful these missing numbers will make any difference at all. But we have to try. Nobody's tall enough to reach way up there. Someone is, if they stretch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right. I can stretch that far. Sasquatch! Smakana <laughs> Stretchy! <laughs> First the five, <laughs> and now for the nine. Okay, Cuckoo Clock, start tick-tocking. Hmm, it's not working. I told you, those numbers are not the problem. <sighs> oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Hmm, something doesn't seem quite right to me. Six, seven, eight, six, ten. <gasps> Wait! The numbers are the problem! Look! There are two number sixes on the clock. That number nine is upside down. Rex is right. See? Six, nine. I owe you a big apology. Missing numbers were exactly the problem. You were right all along. Thanks, Komodo, but I couldn't have solved the problem without Rex. Then you're both number experts! Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished! Mechanic, can we go to the number tree and practice counting more numbers? We Animal Mechanical can! Trash Masher Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Great! Your destination is Trash Masher Island. Trash Masher Island is where all the broken cogs, gears, and parts go to be recycled. Recycled? What does that mean? It means turning old junk into new stuff. The Mechana Beaver uses his giant tail to mash all sorts of broken parts into brand new cogs and gears. A recycling Mechana Beaver? Cool! What's so great about recycling? Oh, recycling is definitely great, Sasquatch. 
But there's a problem. None of the trash is getting recycled. Your mission is to find out what the problem is and fix it before the island fills up with junk. Mechana, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! What's in these things, anyway? Sasquatch, be careful. Those trash bins are filled with junk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> careful, Komodo. These trash bins are filled with junk. Yes, I know. Junk that's going to be recycled. It's so exciting. It starts out as useless junk, but then it gets turned into something shiny and new. And useful. Seems like a lot of trouble to me. Why not just throw it away and buy new stuff? Throw it where? These bins are already so full, they're overflowing. And if we don't figure out why the recycling has stopped, the whole island will be filled with junk. First, we need to find the McKenna beaver. I can't see the beaver anywhere. I wish I was taller. I am taller, and I can't see either. If only I could jump. Or fly. Exactly what I was thinking, Komodo. I'll rise to this task. Unicorn! McKenna, fly! The trash bin train can't deliver the broken parts to him. It'll take someone super strong to bend these tracks back into shape. Strong? That sounds like my kind of challenge. Rex! McKenna Strong! Too strong. Now what do we do? We certainly can't deliver all this junk to the beaver if the track is broken. Hey! I think I have an idea! Sasquatch, can you grab that broken ladder from the trash? But it's trash. I know, but what seems like trash to one person... ...is a piece of track to someone else. Good thinking, Mouse. We'll use the ladder to fix our track. What I call recycling. Recycling is cool. I get it. Taking something old and using it in a new way. That is cool. Okay, everyone. Now let's get this trash bin train rolling. Push! <laughs> Why walk when you can ride? Careful, Sasquatch. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> Tight. Next time, I think I better hold on tight. This is the end of the line, which means that is the McKenna Beaver. It looks like the trash bins tip their junk into that funnel, which pours the pieces into that mold. Isla Dahl said that the beaver pounds out new parts with his giant tail. I like the pounding part. But his tail is missing. 
Maybe that's why he isn't recycling. <gasps> I think I found the problem. Look, here's his tail. It's broken. With all that trash mashing, I guess it just wore out. Oh, I wish there was something we could do to help. <gasps> Wait a minute. Aren't we animal mechanicals? Animal mechanicals can do anything! I know! What if we use bits and pieces from the trash bins to build the beaver a new tail? You mean recycle old junk into something new? That's exactly what I mean! Come on, everyone! Start looking for pieces we can use to build a new beaver tail! See what we've got. It'll make a perfect tail. Now we just need to attach all the pieces together. But how? We need some kind of tool. Ahem. If you don't mind, I think I'm the animal mechanical for this job. Komodo! Makata Gizmo! Whoa! where that was. Aha! One rough and rugged riveter to the rescue! Handy dandy tool time! Yo. Go, Komodo! All right, everyone. If we work together, we can give the beaver his new tail. One, two, three, lift! A perfect job! Now we just have to see if it works. Good news! It works! I noticed. The Mechana Beaver's recycling again! Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished! Oh. What are those? These are shiny new Mechana medals! Well, what do you know? The Beaver made us each a special recycled medal! That looks like the most fun ever! McKenna, can we stay and help the beaver pound and mash and recycle all this trash? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> it's pounding time! McKenna Dancing Bear Island. Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals! Good morning, Island Owl! Very big mission today! Wow. Your destination is McKenna Dancing Bear Island, home of the famous McKenna Dancing Bears. Those are the bears who can't help but dance whenever they hear music. I've always wanted to meet them. I love to dance. But there's a problem. The nice music the bears usually dance to has stopped playing. Now there are only loud, unpleasant sounds that cause the poor bears to dance very strangely. Not good. Your mission is to replace the awful noise with nice music so the bears can dance gracefully once again. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Here we are, 
McKenna dancing Bear Island. I don't hear any loud noise or bad music. And I don't see any strange dancing bears. <laughs> that really is awful noise. <laughs> Real live McKenna dancing bears. Aren't they amazing? I think I'll join them. <laughs> Whoa! Yikes! The McKenna bears don't look like they're having fun. Whoa! Yahoo! They sure seem a lot happier now that the awful noise has stopped. I think we're all happier now that the awful noise has stopped. If only there was some way that we could keep the bears from hearing that noise when it starts up again. Hmm. When I want some peace and quiet, I settle into a nice spot where noise can't find me. That's it! What these bears need is a soundproof fortress to block out the sounds. But there's nothing here to build a fortress out of. These rock blocks sure are uncomfortable. Hmm. Perhaps those rock blocks would make a better bear fortress than a chair. Hey, I just had an idea. Those rock blocks would make a better bear fortress than a chair. <laughs> the mighty Sasquatch will just push, lift up. Gee, these rocks are too heavy for me to move. Nice try, big guy. But I'm the animal mechanical for this job. Bricks! McKenna Strong! will be able to hear any noise now. Uh, not again! <gasps> oh no! The rock fortress wasn't soundproof after all. Poor bears! All you want to do is dance to pretty music again. Don't you worry. We'll figure something out. And in the meantime, let's dance! If we can't keep the bears from hearing the noise, we'll just have to find out where the noise is coming from and stop it. Great idea, Unicorn. But how do you find something you can't see? Whee! Ah, the noise seems to come from all over the place. Mouse, maybe you could use your supersonic ears to locate exactly where the noise is coming from. Great idea, Rex. making that noise sure moves around a lot. Now the noise is over there. This is impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. We just need to work together to find that noise. If Mouse can follow the noise with her super hearing, I can fly up and look for what's making the noise. Unicorn! McKenna, fly! is the noise coming from now, Mouse? Over there! Aha! I think I see something! Follow me! Aha! The noisemaker is behind the bush! Look! It's a mechanic! 
But mechana bands usually make nice music, not awful noise. Something must be wrong with it. Let me take a closer look, okay, fella? Yes! I see! Aha! I've got it! It is my estimation that the mechana band is simply out of tune. Out of tune? How can we fix that? I believe I am the animal mechanical for this job. Komodo! Makana Gizmo! <laughs> nope. Uh-uh. Whew! How embarrassing! <laughs> One true and trusty tuning fork to the rescue! Tuning for? What's that? Musicians use a tuning fork to keep their instruments sounding right, to keep them in tune. All the mechana band needs to do is listen to this musical note and try to match it. Dancing nicely again. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. <laughs> now that I see how gracefully the bears dance, I'm starting to think that maybe my dancing is, well, not very graceful at all. Well, Komodo, maybe you're a little like the Mechana Band. Maybe you just need a little tune up too. You know, a little help to dance better. And you've got some great teachers right here. You're right! Fancy dancing, here I come! Makana, can we all get dancing lessons from the dancing bears? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> Puffer Cloud Island. Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals! Good morning, Island Owl! Very big mission today! Yes! Your destination is Puffer Cloud Island, home of the amazing Puffer Cloud Machine! Cool! I've always wanted to see how puffer clouds get made. That's the problem. The puffer cloud machine isn't feeling well, and the puffy pink clouds that usually float in the sky are all sitting on the ground instead. Not good. Your mission is to help the puffer cloud machine feel better and get those clouds back into the sky again. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! For Cloud Island. And there's the puffer cloud machine. Poor thing. It does sound sick. I thought clouds were supposed to float up, not down. When the puffer cloud machine feels good, that is precisely where the clouds go. Up in the sky. The mighty Sasquatch will make them go up. 
Sasquatch, no! You can't just toss a cloud back into the sky! Uh-oh. Wow! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you can't just toss a cloud back into the sky. I knew that. Don't worry, clouds. We'll find a way to help you float in the sky again. Look! That little blue cloud is all by itself. Hey, little cloud, how come you're all alone? Bloop, bloop, bloop. It says it feels different from the other clouds. They're all pink, but he's blue. Being blue's not a bad thing. Come and meet our friends. See? This is Sasquatch, and he's blue just like you. I am? All right, I am. And I'm pink. And I'm yellow. As you can see, I am red. Glorious bright red. I think it's the color of genius. <laughs> and look at me. I'm green. We're all different colors. And it's okay to be different. In fact, it's fun to be different. Feel better, little puffer cloud? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now, let's get that puffer cloud machine working again. <laughs> let's see now. To make clouds, the machine sucks air in through this tube. But something is not quite right. Okay now, machine. Take a nice deep breath in. Just as I suspected, something is definitely clogging up this tube. Then we need to unclog it somehow. Let's remove the tube and have a look inside to see what's blocking it. We need some kind of big wrench to take the tube off. Who would carry around a wrench? Uh, Nobody. That's who. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, right. You would carry a wrench. <laughs> Komodo! Makara Gizmo! Whoa. Nope. Uh-uh. Oh, my flower. Here we go. One mighty McKenna wrench to the rescue! Tool time is cool time! One more turn and... Komodo did it! Now we can find out what's stuck inside. My arms aren't long enough to reach very far. <sighs> Neither are mine. How are we going to reach far enough to find the problem? We need someone who has arms that stretch. Someone who has arms that stretch? That would be hard to find. Uh -uh -uh. Oh, wait a minute. I have arms that stretch. <laughs> Stand aside and behold the mighty Sasquatch. Makana Stretchy. <laughs> something stuck inside. Do you think you can push it out the other side, Sasquatch? Animal mechanicals can do anything. There's plenty of stretch left in these arms. Sasquatch, be careful. Oh, sorry, Komodo. Mm, that's all right. Sasquatch, you did it! Yay! It appears a rock block was sucked into the tube by accident. No wonder the puffer cloud machine wasn't feeling very well. Okay, team, let's put the machine back together and see if it works. All right, puffer cloud machine, you're as good as new. That sounds better. It's working! The clouds are floating! Boop, boop, boop. Not all the clouds are floating. What can we do to help these other clouds that are still on the ground? We can't just throw them into the sky, right, Sasquatch? <laughs> uh, 
right. I knew that. Is there another way to help get the clouds back into the sky? Nope. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Unicorn! Makeda fly! Okay, Clouds, I'm going to help get you into the sky, but then it's up to you to float on your own. Can you do it? Awesome! Unicorn is using her magic horn to make wind to blow the clouds up into the sky! Way to go, Clouds! Now you're floating on your own! The little blue cloud still doesn't want to go. It feels too different from the other clouds. Don't worry, little blue cloud. Being different is what makes you special. Yes, we're all different. We each have different powers. That's right. Yeah. What's your special power, Blue Cloud? Boop, boop. You don't know? That's okay. I'm sure you'll discover it soon. So, are you ready to fly? Boop, boop, boop. Bye bye, little Blue Cloud. And remember, being different is being special. Well, the Puffer Cloud Machine is working again, and all the clouds are in the sky. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Yay! Yes! Wait, I <laughs> Look! The little blue cloud is a rain cloud. That's what makes it different and special. Yay, blue cloud! Bloop, bloop. made these pretty flowers grow. Thanks, Blue Cloud. Bloop, bloop. Look! More Blue Clouds! And that means more rain! McKenna, can we stay and play in the rain? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> yeah. McKenna Ski Ball Island. Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yeah! yeah. Your destination is McKenna Ski Ball Island. McKenna Ski Ball? What's that? McKenna Ski Ball is a fun game where McKenna Balls ski down a big hill, then jump through the air and land in holes to get points. Ski? Oh, I want to try that. Let's go. Not so fast. The ski jump is broken, and the McKenna Ski Balls can't reach their game. Not good. Your mission is to fix the ski jump so the Ski Balls can play their game again. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! Here we are, McKenna Ski Ball Island. Those must be the McKenna Ski Balls. I can't wait to start skiing. Hey, Ski Balls! Show me how to ski. Sasquatch, wait! Ski Balls move very fast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Ski balls move very fast. I noticed that. Hmm. I don't see the ski ball game. Look! The ski balls are riding on a lift that 
carries them to the top of the hill. I predict that we will be able to see the game from up there. Then it's up the hill we go, team. So to ski, we have to go all the way to the top of the hill? It looks pretty big to me. Sasquatch, you have to go to the top if you want to ski back down. See? Mm, now that I think about it, skiing might not be such fun after all. I'll just wait here and... Uh-oh. Oh. <gasps> uh -oh. Poor Sasquatch, always oh, getting taken by the... Oh, surprise! Yikes! <laughs> Look! There's the ski ball game! And there's the broken ski jump! We need to fix that jump so the ski balls can reach their game and score points! <gasps> They've got skis for us! Come on, everyone! Time to ski down the hill! This is your big chance to ski, Sasquatch. Uh, that's okay. I think I'll just watch. A new way to be super fast! Whee! This is great! All right! Hmm. To fix the jump, we need to put this piece back. But how? Hmm, leave that to me. I'll just... It's impossible to lift. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. This is a job for... Rex! McKenna Strong! The two pieces are still a little wobbly. We need to make the pieces super sturdy. I believe that's where I come in. <laughs> Komodo! <laughs> Makara Gizmo! Whoa. <laughs> nope. Uh-uh. Oh, pretty bubbles. Super sticky glue to the rescue! A quick fix with my super sticky glue will keep this ski jump together! Wow! Ooh, super sticky glue is amazing! One McKenna ski jump ready for action! Why didn't you ski down with us, Sasquatch? Oh, um, I, I needed to, uh, stay behind and take care of my snow buddies. Snow buddies? Shh, they're napping. <laughs> <laughs> Look! That McKenna ski ball is going to try the ski jump! That's strange. The ski ball landed in the number three hole, but the number one lit up. Ah! There goes another one. That ski ball landed in hole number one. But the number three lit up. Hmm. Something must be wrong with the numbers on that game. Look! The numbers are loose. Interesting. It appears that the numbers are in the wrong places. You're right. The numbers should be one, two, and three. Not three, two, and one. Then we need to put the numbers back where they belong. Ha! Who could reach way up there? Someone could, if they were super stretchy. Yeah, if only there was someone like that around. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
I'm super stretchy. But even I can't stretch all the way to the game from up here. No, but you can ski down and reach the numbers from over there. Ski down? This super steep hill? And go over the big curvy jump? No, 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 no. I can't do that. Sure you can, pal. You're an animal mechanical. You can do anything. Yeah! <gasps> okay, give me those skis. What? Yes, Sasquatch, go! I can do this. Uh. Whoa! Now, to fix those numbers, Sasquatch! <laughs> Makana Stretchy! Number one, you belong here. And number three, this is your spot. Okay, try it now. It's fixed. The number next to the hole is lighting up. Balls are playing their game. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Woohoo! Where's Sasquatch? Over here. Mechanic, can we stay and ski all day? We Animal Mechanical can! Yeah! Chugboat Island. Mechanical mission time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals! Good morning, Island Owl! Very big mission today! Right, right. Your destination is Chugboat Island! I love to ride on a chugboat! Unfortunately, this island is very foggy, and the chug boats are all lost on the water. That's terrible! The island lighthouse has stopped working. That's why the chug boats don't know which way to go. They need the lighthouse light to see through the fog. Oh no! We have to help them. Your mission is to get the lighthouse working again, so the chug boats can find their way. McKenna, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! Chugboat Island! I wonder where the chugboats are. There! Out on the ocean! I see them! Hey! Chugboats! Over here! I don't think they can see us. Just like Island Owl said. They're lost in the fog. We just have to fix the lighthouse. But where is it? There it is! The lighthouse! But the light looks like it's working to me. True. The light is working, but it's pointing in the wrong direction. It's pointing away from the chug boats. That won't help. What do you think is wrong? Usually the light in the lighthouse turns around in a circle. This light isn't turning. It must be stuck. And with the light pointed in the wrong direction, there's nothing to guide the chug boats through the fog. Well, 
Well then, team, we know what we have to do. Get that light turning again. The lighthouse is on that little island. How can we get over there? Why don't we swim across? Swim? Um, isn't it kind of deep? Don't worry, Mouse. We'll find another way. Maybe we can ride on a tugboat. Hey, tugboat! Over here! Can you give us a ride, please? But the tugboats can't find us in the fog, remember? Oh, right. Well, if there was some sort of a bridge, we could all walk across. Hmm, I don't see anything we could use to build a bridge. I know! What about an ice bridge? But how would we make a bridge of ice? That sounds impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Unicorn! Mechanicals! Unicorn go! Yeah! One ice bridge coming up! She's making ice with her horn! Awesome! I did it! Yeah! yeah! Fascinating! A bridge made of ice! Oh, it's solid enough to cross now, but we need to hurry before it melts! Then there's no time to lose. Oh, um... Hey, Mouse, come on. What if I fall in the water? It's deep. You won't fall in, Mouse. I'll be here for you. You promise? I promise. Hurry up, you two. The ice is starting to melt. Thanks, pal. You gave us a soft landing. No problem. Come on, let's go check out the lighthouse. Hurry up, Komodo. This is no time to rest. Uh... Here we are, team. The lighthouse. Wow! Look at the bright lamp. We need to figure out how to get it to turn around. Fascinating. It appears this crank handle is connected to this large cog. But why? Maybe if we turn the crank, the light will turn too. Hmm, excellent suggestion. Nothing's happening. Hmm, perhaps this one cog should be connected to something else. I wonder what those pegs are for. And why are they each a different shape? Hey, you guys. What about these cogs? Maybe they fit on the pegs. Hmm, it is quite possible. We just have to figure out which cog fits which peg. But they all look the same to me. Look, the holes in the cogs are different shapes, just like the pegs. Circle, square, and that pointy shape. That's a triangle. Right, I knew that. All we need to do is match the shape inside the cog to the shape of the peg. This first peg is square-shaped. Then which cog should we use? I know. Try the square one. It fits. What's the next peg look like? It's a triangle shape. So that means we should use the one with the triangle. Got it. Perfect fit. I guess that means the last cog goes on the last peg. The circle cog must fit with the circle peg. But where is one? Up there. But that circle peg is pretty far away. I wonder who do we know who can reach up that high? Hmm. That's a good question. Who do we know? Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> 
I can reach it. Behold, the mighty Sasquatch. Sakata Stretchy. Duper Spring! Yay! You did it! Now let's turn this crank. Uh, it's, it's not moving. We need someone really strong. Being strong is what I do best. Rex! McKenna Strong! Rex do strong stuff. Look, the light is turning. It's working. Keep turning the crank, Rex. The checkboats can see the light. They aren't lost anymore. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Wow, just look at them. McKenna, can we ask them for a tugboat ride? We Animal Mechanical can! McKenna Racer Island. Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals! Good morning, Island Owl! Very big mission today! Wow. Wow. Your destination is McKenna Racer Island! That's where the McKenna Racers live! That's right! McKenna Racer Island is a big McKenna race course, and the McKenna Racers are about to have their best race ever. Goody! The McKenna Racers zoom through this fantastic race course to win the Rocket Cup trophy. Wow! But there's a problem. One of the McKenna Racers has had a breakdown and can't race unless he's fixed. Not good. Your mission is to fix the McKenna Racer so he can compete in the big race. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! McKenna Racer Island! Look! McKenna Racers! McKenna Racers are amazing flyers! You're an amazing flyer, too! Not as amazing as them! McKenna Racers are quite impressive, but I wonder what happened to the missing racer? <gasps> what was that noise? It came from over there! It's a blue McKenna racer. Hello. Are you the one having trouble? Hmm. If I am correct, and I always am, this racer is in need of several new parts. He has a cracked wing, a dented nose cone, and a hole in his fuel tank. Don't worry. 
We'll find some new parts for you. Somewhere. Maybe there's something we can use in those lockers over there. Animal Mechanicals, checking it out. Yes! New parts! You were right, Mouse. Fascinating! Look! I'm a Mechana Racer, too! <laughs> Sasquatch, no! Holding a pair of wings will not help you fly! <laughs> Komodo, did you know that holding a pair of wings will not help you fly? Fascinating. Okay, team, time to fit this racer with new parts. <clears throat> this purple wing doesn't fit. Hmm. That's funny. It's exactly like the other wing. Same shape, same size. But if the purple wing is the same in every way, it should fit perfectly. The two wings aren't exactly the same. They're different colors. True. The wing that fits is blue, and the wing that doesn't fit is purple. Of course! Mouse, you are a genius! The blue racer needs blue parts! Then it's a plan! Let's find the blue parts! We've got all the blue parts! Let's see if they fit! The blue nose cone fits! The blue fuel tank fits too! Now all we need is that other blue wing! It's got to be around here somewhere. There! I see it! It's way out of reach! That's a tight spot. <clears throat> My arms can't reach that far. Hmm, that's a big problem. I wonder who could reach all the way in there. Maybe someone with very stretchy arms? <laughs> Wait a minute. I just had an idea. I could stretch and reach it. Why didn't I think of that? Stand aside and behold, the mighty Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! like a fantastic elastic! I can do this just a bit further! Ugh. Yay, Sasquatch! Yes, it fits! There you go, pal. You're all fixed! Now you're ready for the big race! Something's wrong with his engine! Hmm, let's have a look under the hood. Look how dirty it is in there. No wonder his engine conked out. Keeping clean is very important for staying healthy. You have to brush your engine every night, okay? up, little fella. We won't. We just need a bristly brush to clean out your dirty engine. I might have just the thing. Komodo! Makana Gizmo! Whoa. Nope. No. How did those get in there? Brush to the rescue! Tool time is cool time! Everyone. 
everyone, let's watch the race. Woohoo! I'm so excited. The race is about to start. Not quite yet. It looks like the racers are discussing something. They want you to join in the big race, Unicorn. Really? You want me to race with you? I can't believe it! I'm going to fly with the real Makana racers! Unicorn! Makana fly! I can't fly. Right. Mechana, can we watch the race instead? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> Mechana Kanga Bounce Ball Island. Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals! Good morning, Island Owl! Very big mission today! Ah. Yeah. Your destination is Mechana Kanga Bounce Ball Island! That is where the springy Mechana Kangas play an interesting game of basketball. Yes, Kanga bouncers use three trampolines to bounce, bounce, bounce until they're high enough to drop a ball into a very tall basket. Woo-wee! Bouncing is my kind of fun. I want to play too. <laughs> well, you'll have to wait a bit. There's a problem at the Kanga bounce ball court. One of the trampolines is ripped. Not good. Your mission is to fix the torn trampoline so that the Mechana Kangas can play bounce ball again. Mechana, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Mechana Kanga Bounce Ball Island. And there are the Mechana Kangas. Time for the mighty Sasquatch to show them how bounce ball is really played. Woohoo! I love to bounce. Sasquatch, remember what Island Owl said. One of the trampolines is ripped. Huh. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Guess what? One of the trampolines is ripped. I knew that. It's really ripped now. Oopsie. Sorry, Kangas. The trampoline is ruined. How can we fix it? Hmm. We'll have to find some more trampoline material. Something super stretchy, like this. But where will we find something like that? I think the Kangas have an idea. Animal Mechanicals, checking it out. 
Why did they stop next to that funny tree? Fascinating. These must be mechana basket trees. They make the stretchy material used for the trampolines. All right, I'll just tear a piece off. Careful, Sasquatch. The stretchy stuff is still attached to the... <laughs> tree. Did you know the stretchy stuff is still attached to the tree? You learn something every day. <laughs> we need to get a big piece of this bark off the tree to fix the trampoline. But how? It's too stretchy to pull off. Maybe we could cut a piece off. Yeah, if we had scissors or something. Mouse, where are we going to get scissors around here? It's impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. Komodo! Makana Gizmo! Nope. Uh-uh. How did those get there? One pair of mighty Makana scissors to the rescue! Ta-da! This stretchy piece should do the trick. Now all we need to do is attach it to the trampoline. And then the mighty Sasquatch will get bouncy! First we attach this side. And then... Can't reach too hard. <gasps> it's too hard to pull. We need someone super strong to pull this super stretchy stuff across the trampoline. Then this is a job for... Rex! McKenna Strong! Rex, pull stretchy stuff. Uh, Rex could use a little help. Animal Mechanicals, team time. There. One bounce ball court fixed. Ah! Hey, Kangas! Pass it to me! Come on! I just want to show you the best way to bounce the ball! Huh. See? Bounce, bounce, bounce! Oh no! The Kanga's ball! Oopsie! Again. We've got to get that ball! It's going to take someone very speedy to catch that bouncy ball. Speedy? That's me! Mouse! McKenna fast! Go, Mechanic Kangas. Look at them go! Incredible!
Incredible! Amazing! Everything okay, big guy? They're really good. Much better than me. You are great at being super stretchy. Just like they're great at playing bounce ball. Huh? Now that you've seen how it's done, I think the Mechanicangas are ready to let you play. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. I don't want to mess up again. Come on, Sasquatch. You can do it. <gasps> All right, I'll give it another try. I just won't try so hard. At least I didn't break anything this time. <laughs> <laughs> Mechanic, can we all play a game of Kanga Bounce Ball? We animal mechanical can! After we help Sasquatch get down from the basket, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Ranch Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yay! Your destination is Robo Ranch Island, home of the McKenna Cowboy and his rootin' tootin' McKenna Ranch. A cowboy? Yee-haw! The trouble is, the cowboy's McKenna Bull has run away, and the cowboy can't find him. Run away? Not good. Your mission is to find the missing bull and return him to the Robo Ranch. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! Robo Ranch Island! Look! A real live cowboy! Howdy, partner! Which way to the Robo Ranch? Hey! I'm talking to you, partner! Now listen up here! I... Uh, uh. <laughs> it's just the mechanic cactus. <laughs> <laughs> A perfect fit! Hmm. Now, which way to the Robo Ranch? Thank you kindly, Mr. Cactus. Come on, partners. There's the Robo Ranch! Howdy, partner. I heard that your mechanical is giving you more trouble than a rattlesnake in a water hole. That's cowboy talk. <laughs> He says it was the strangest thing. The bull went crazy and ran right through the fence for no reason. There must be a reason. What was going on at the time? He says it was feeding time. He let out a big whistle to call the bull to eat, and off he charged right through the fence. Well, maybe the critter wasn't happy with his fiddles. That's what cowboys call food. <laughs> he might have gone looking for some other yummy vittles. Very professional cowboy talking, Sasquatch. Animal mechanicals, we need to find that critter. Uh, <laughs> I mean bull, and fast. Look at the fence. He sure is a strong fellow, isn't he? Yes, but how do we find him? He could be anywhere by now. In the Old West, cowboys used to find animals by listening carefully for the sounds they made. Great idea! 
Let's try to listen for sounds the bull might make. All I hear is Sasquatch whistling. Oopsie. Sorry, partner. Wait, I hear something. Listen. It sounds like munching sounds. And snorting sounds, just like a bull would make. What direction are the sounds coming from, Mouse? From... Help me! The McKenna Bull! Time for a real Wild West Roundup! Yee-haw! Hey, Bull! Where are you going, you crazy critter? Sasquatch, be careful! Mechanibals are easily startled! Huh? Guess what, partner? Mechanibals are easily startled! Thanks, partner. We need to find a way to sneak up on the bull so we don't startle him again. Then we can carefully grab his harness and lead him back to the ranch. But the bull is watching us very closely. We'll never get close to him. He'll see us coming. Not if we come from above. I'm the animal mechanical for this job. Unicorn! McKenna Fly! Nice pull. Good job, Sasquatch. All in a day's work, partner. Whoa! Nice pull. Stop, nice pulley ball. Please. Whoa. Interesting. When Sasquatch whistled, the bull went berserk. And he ran away when Sasquatch whistled before, too. And remember what the cowboy said? He whistled when it was feeding time. That's when the bull ran through the fence. That's it. When the bull hears a whistle, he runs away. That bull must really dislike whistling. Well, that's one problem solved. But now we've got to round up that bull. Whoa! Animal Mechanicals on the move. Whoa. 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 The bull is running wild. There's no way we can stop him. I have heard that bulls sometimes charge towards cloth that is red, like a red flag or a red cape. How about a red bandana? Yes, that might work. But whoever holds the bandana would have to be very fast to stay ahead of the bull. I can be fast. Mouse! McKenna fast! That bull is very strong and powerful. Are you sure you want to do this? Animal Mechanicals can do anything! Fast like a rocket! Hey, you Mr. Bull! Catch me if you can! <laughs> Whoa! It's working! The bull is chasing after her! Come on, team! Let's get back to the ranch, too! Was one wild ride. Thanks, partner. He says, thanks y'all for rounding up my bull. That's cowboy talk. <laughs> All we need to do now is fix this gate so the bull won't escape again. No problem. Looks like the gate will snap into place. We just need to lift it. Uh, oh no! The mighty cowboy Sasquatch will help too. <laughs> It's too heavy. We're not strong enough. This is a job for... 
Rex! McKenna Strong! Lift heavy stuff. Just a bit further, Rex. One McKenna Bowl safe and sound inside his corral. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. What a rootin' tootin' cowboy adventure. Makes me feel like whistling another cowboy tune. <gasps> Sasquatch, don't. <laughs> Whistle. Oopsie, partners. <laughs> Looks like we have to chase down that critter again, partners. Mechanic, can we do it? We animal mechanical can! Yeah! Mechanic Tortoise Island. Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals! Good morning, Island Owl! Very big mission today! Yes. Your destination is McKenna Tortoise Island. Oh, boy! I love tortoises! The McKenna tortoises are having a special birthday party today. A birthday party? That means yum, yum, birthday cake! And I love birthday cake! <laughs> so do I, Rex. But there's a problem. This is the birthday tortoise. He's very old and very slow. He's so slow, he won't make it to his own birthday party on time. Oh, no! would be terrible. Your mission is to make sure the birthday tortoise gets to his party on time. And to eat birthday cake? <laughs> yes, that too. McKenna, can you do it? We, we animal mechanical can! McKenna Tortoise Island. And look, there's the birthday party. It's not so far. <sighs> I can smell the cake from here. But where's the birthday tortoise? Hmm. Here, tortoise, tortoise, tortoise. <laughs> but that rock is haunted. <laughs> Sasquatch? That's not a rock. It's the birthday McKenna tortoise. Oh, right. I knew that. Hey, Komodo, don't be scared. The haunted rock is really the tortoise. Isn't that great? <sighs> Mr. Tortoise, we're here to help you get to your party. Yeah. Are you ready to have some fun? <laughs> oh, look at his little party hat. I love tortoises. Come on, let's get to the cake. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the party. Hmm, Island Owl was right. The McKenna tortoise is very slow. Remember, team, our mission is to get the tortoise to his party on time. Not a problem. The mighty Sasquatch will get his new tortoise friend there on time! Sasquatch, stop! The McKenna tortoise is afraid of you pushing him! Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Tortoise. I was just trying to help. If we could get the tortoise to the edge of this hill, 
He could slide down the hill to the party. We just have to come up with a way to move him from over there to over here. Without pushing him. He doesn't like being pushed. Burp, burp. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Careful of that log, Sasquatch. It might roll. <laughs> Careful of that log, Komodo. It rolls. I knew that. Sasquatch, that's it. If the mechanic tortoise was on top of some logs, we could roll him to the hill. That would be faster than him walking. Except there aren't many logs around here. Only trees. But logs are made from trees. If we cut down some of the trees, we'd have some logs. Cut down trees? I don't see any way to do that. Oh, no. Leave that to me. Komodo! Makara Gizmo! Nope. Not that. Hey! Where's the fire? Aha! One super duper mechanosaur to the rescue! Just the thing for cutting. Stand back, everyone. That's great, Komodo! Now, to get the Mechana Tortoise onto the logs. It's okay, Mr. Tortoise. We won't hurt you. If you just step onto the first log and tuck your legs in, we'll roll you to the slope. Then you can go for a fun slide. Burp, burp, burp. Burp. Brilliant! Yippee! Yeah! Okay, team. Let's roll. Ready, Mr. Mechanic Tortoise? Burp, burp, burp. him along! One more easy push and... There he goes! Oh no! The mechanic tortoise is sliding down the hill too fast! <laughs> and he's going to crash into his own birthday party if he doesn't stop! <laughs> To stop my little buddy. But he's big and heavy. We can't stop him. Animal mechanicals can do anything. Rex! McKenna strong! Need something to hold on to. Rex is doing it. He's slowing the mechanotortis down. I can't look. Whew. Just in time. Uh-oh. It looks like there's another problem. The mechanic tortoises can't reach the birthday piñata. It's too high up in that tree. Oh, no! How are they supposed to get the goodies out of the piñata if they can't reach it? We need a way to reach all the way up to that piñata. Forget it. We don't have anything that could do that. <laughs> We don't have anything, but we do have someone. Who can stretch? Who? Oh, right. Me. I can stretch up to get it. Sasquatch. 
Makana Stretchy! Mechanic tortoises. Now you can reach the pinata. We got the mechanic tortoise to his birthday party on time. Animal mechanicals, mission accomplished. Birthday cake, yum. Mechanic, can we stay and have some, please? Pretty please with a cherry on top. Oh, can we, can we? Burp, 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 burp. We Animal Mechanical Ken! <laughs> McKenna Jukebox Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Wow! Your destination is Jukebox Island, where the island beboppers love to dance. Dancing? I love dancing too! But for some reason, the beboppers have stopped dancing, and now they're very sad. Poor little Beboppers. Your mission is to find out why the Beboppers have stopped dancing and to get them dancing again. Mechanic, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Jukebox Island. And look, the bee poppers are just standing around. They're not dancing even a little. I bet I know the problem. The bee poppers just need to learn some good dance moves. Watch closely, little bee poppers. Sasquatch, the mighty dancer, will show you some fancy, dancey dance moves. See? Um. You might want to skip that last move. <laughs> Maybe you dance better with music, Sasquatch. Did you say music, Mouse? Yes. That's it. There's no music. Beboppers will only dance if there's music. No problem. The mighty Sasquatch will now make music. La 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 la. La 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 la. Sasquatch, I don't think the Beboppers like that music. Huh? We need to find some other kind of music. But where are we going to find something around here to make music? What about that jukebox? Don't jukeboxes make music? Jukeboxes do indeed make music, Mouse. You simply push a button and... Okay, jukebox, play some tunes. Huh? No music? Maybe if I push the buttons harder. It's pounding time! No, Sasquatch. Good idea to pound jukebox buttons. Ah! It's not a good idea to pound jukebox buttons. I know. Hey, team, look at this. What are those holes for? Aha! Those holes are where music discs are supposed to be. So that's why the jukebox isn't playing music. There are no music discs in it. But where could they be? Beboppers, do you know where the music discs are? Too bad. But at least we know what we're looking for. Three missing music discs. Let's go. Music discs. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> Did you hear that? I know that laugh. 
It could only belong to one mechanic creature. A jive jumper! <laughs> that jive jumper is holding something blue. And round. It must be one of the missing music discs. Great. Hey, Mr. Jive Jumper, can I have that music disc, please? <laughs> hey! Catch that disc! <laughs> another Jive Jumper, and he's got another music disc. Oh, dear. Jive Jumpers love to play games. This might be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> the Jive Jumpers throw the discs too fast. We can't catch them. Too fast? Nothing's too fast for me. I'm super fast. Mouse! McKenna fast! Mouse. Now, let's put these discs back into the jukebox. There are the holes for the music discs. One, two, three. And here are the music discs. One, two. No third disc? Huh. Perhaps the jukebox will work with two discs. It still isn't working. We need all three music discs to make the jukebox play. Where could that last disc be? <laughs> Giant Jumpers! Look! The third disc is on top of the tree. Even the Jive Jumpers can't reach it. Oh, well. I guess the Beboppers will have to learn to dance without music. Come on, little guys. Dance with me. Um, Sasquatch. Maybe someone could stretch way up high. Maybe even stretch while they're dancing. Good point. Stretching loosens the muscles. Stretch while you dance, Bee Bobbers. Uh, Sasquatch, I think Komodo means someone could stretch to reach the disc in the tree. Oh, that kind of stretch. Who could do that? Uh, uh, um. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I can stretch like that. Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! Stretchy like a big rubber monkey! Almost got it! Gotcha, music disc! The Jive Jumpers look sad. They want to play with the music discs. But these discs are for playing music, not playing games. Aw, maybe a flower will make you guys feel better. Oops, I broke it. Huh? <laughs> Flower petal flies just like a music disc. Great work, Sasquatch. The Jive Jumpers are having fun. <laughs> now that the Jive Jumpers are happy, it's time to get the Bee Bobbers happy too. Yep. Let's go get that jukebox playing music again. There. All three music discs are now in place. The cover won't stay closed. Hmm, the bolt that holds it shut is very loose. We need to tighten it. But how? This is a job for... Komodo! Makara Gizmo! Nope. Uh-uh. Oh, how embarrassing. This ought to do the trick. One mighty McKenna wrench to the rescue! 
Team, Mechanic, can we all learn the Beboppers dance? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> Mechana Circus Island. Animal mechanical mission time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yeah. Your destination is McKenna Circus Island. A circus? With clowns? The McKenna Circus is made up of three acts. The McKenna Cycler, the McKenna Acrobat, and yes, Sasquatch, the Bouncer Clown. A Bouncer Clown? I've always wanted to be a Bouncer Clown! The Mechanic Circus usually travels in its Mechanic Circus train, going from island to island. But there's something wrong with the train. It can't take off. And if it doesn't take off, there will be no circus. No circus? That would be terrible! Your mission is to save the circus by getting the Mechanic Circus train flying again. Mechanic, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! Mechana Circus Island. And here comes the Mechana Circus train. Ooh, that train doesn't sound so good to me. Animal Mechanicals, checking it out. The engineer says the Mechana Cycler, the Mechana Acrobat, and the Bouncer Clown are loaded in their cars. But every time the train tries to take off, it can't fly. Hmm. This train squeaks and squawks. If I am correct, and I always am, I'd say you've got some gear trouble. Mind if I take a look? I wonder where the bouncer clown is. Oh. Hmm. Three train cars. Which one is the bouncer clown in? Oops, the mechanic acrobat. Definitely not a clown. Bouncer clown, are you in there? Have fun, mechanic cycler. <laughs> oh boy, I know who's inside this one. The Bouncer Clown! Goody! <laughs> Look! <laughs> I can juggle and bounce around and then I... Uh... Oops! <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the gear that's stuck. What we need is... <laughs> the Bouncer Clown! How did he get out of his car? Um, it might have been my fault. Don't worry, the mighty Sasquatch will catch him. Be careful, Sasquatch. Bouncer clowns are very bouncy. Be careful, Komodo. Bouncer clowns are very bouncy. 
I knew that. <laughs> the Badger Clown says he wants you to look under his hat. I have no time for silly games. I have time for silly games. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Springy snakes. Very funny, Bouncer Clown. Komodo needs to fix the train, Sasquatch. Can you keep the Bouncer Clown busy somewhere else, like over there? Sure thing, Rex. Come on, buddy. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. This big gear on the side of the engine has become too rusty to move. That's why the train can't fly. Rusty? How can we fix that? All it needs is a bit of oil. This is a job for... Komodo! Makata Gizmo! Whoa! Nope. Nope. Lollipop. Maybe later. Aha. One mighty McKenna oil can to the rescue. <laughs> A little oil here. And here. And... Great work, Komodo. Now we need to get the Bouncer Clown back on the train. Animal Mechanicals making it happen. <laughs> hey, guys. You're just in time for our bouncy show. Come on, Clown. <laughs> One, two, three. What was that? <laughs> oh, right. I might have forgotten to tell you guys. I kind of let all the acts out of the train. Not good! Now we have to get all the performers back on the train! That McKenna Acrobat is too high in the sky! We'll never be able to get it back down and into the train! Animal Mechanicals can do anything! Right! This is a job for... Unicorn! in the circus. Follow me, okay? Good job, Unicorn. Now, we just need to catch the... Let me guess. McKenna Cycler? I don't know how we'll ever do that. McKenna Cycler's going too fast. There's no such thing as too fast for animal mechanicals. Mouse! McKenna Saw he was saying goodbye to the bouncer clown. Uh oh, look! The train is coming back! The engineer says there's an extra passenger on board. 
Sasquatch! What are you doing on the McKenna Circus Train? Oh, I just wanted to do my clown act as part of the McKenna Circus. The engineer says you can come and perform in their next show. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> McKenna, can we all go ride the train and watch the show? We animal, mechanical, 